Hello and welcome everybody to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News Business. I'm your host, Elliot Bullman. Remember to follow us on all our social networks and to catch us every day by logging onto our website, mexiconewsnetwork.com, for relevant stories and news. Let's start with today's show. It's been another volatile week for the Mexican economy. Protests continue across the nation about the escalating fuel costs, while the peso set a record low, falling to 22.03 against the dollar. On the upside, however, Mexico isn't wasting any time exploring options to trade. Back in November of 2016, trade officials were already exploring the opening of trade with China to replace business that Trump's policy may cost the country. Given this backdrop, Banco Basim has listed six factors that could stimulate a rebound of the struggling peso to an exchange below 20 pesos on the dollar. Firstly, Trump must change his rhetoric against Mexico, and it must be focused on collaboration rather than aggressive renegotiation of NAFTA. With the previous measure, it would also restore confidence and would help the flow of foreign direct investment in Mexico to grow. Thirdly, Inflation should not consistently exceed the Banco de Mexico target, which is around 3%. Capital must continue to enter adequately into Mexican financial instruments. The price of oil should rise or be expected to close the gap that sustains the excess supply of this hydrocarbon. And finally, that Mexico's credit rating is no longer at risk of being cut. In other news, Mexican businessmen that participated in the 47th World Economic Forum affirmed that they'll face the beginning of the presidential term of Donald Trump with a positive attitude. We have to be positive and we will be positive, said Jose Antonio Fernandez Carabajal, president of the board of directors of the Mexican Economic Development Corporation, FEMSA. The head of the Mexican multinational of beverages and convenience stores predicted that commercial negotiation with the United States will be complicated but worthwhile. According to a survey by the international consultancy PricewaterhouseCoopers presented at the beginning of the forum, the presidents of large Mexican companies confirmed that they were worried about the start of Donald Trump's term. The good news, however, is that the presidents of more than 1,300 large multinationals that responded to the PricewaterhouseCoopers poll chose Mexico in eighth place as their favorite destination to invest this year. In other headlines, according to the ITAM economist Manuel Molano, the Trumpian notion that trade and business are zero-sum games and that Mexico is the enemy of the United States is a 21st century version of Manifest Destiny and the Nazi Lebensraum. Both theories turned out to be wrong, and Mr. Trump's nationalist theory could also turn out to be wrong. Mexico's only sin has been to painstakingly develop Mexico into a world-leading manufacturing nation. The perfect storm which has allowed this to happen includes America's multi-trillion dollar bailout program incited by the banking sector's self-induced financial crisis. Also over a decade's worth of quantitative easing measures, the country's soaring cost of healthcare, racism and social segregation, increasing drug addiction and a failed education system that is preventing its people from entering highly paid employment. Although the US executive has broad powers in trade matters, Trump cannot cancel NAFTA that easily because the United States is a more open nation to countries with which it has no trade agreements than Mexico, for example. Alternatively, Trump may choose to close the gas or maize supply by imposing taxes or other restrictions on the export of these products. However, imposing sanctions on Mexico will only serve to destroy supply chains that are seamlessly integrated where inputs cross the border several times before becoming a final product. The bottom line is this. If you buy or sell in the United States, 
Talk to your customers and suppliers and tell them that Trump's vision is wrong. And finally, let's turn to the markets. The Mexican peso decreased 0.51% to 20.96 from 21.07 in the previous trading session. IPC Mexico increased 0.77% to 48,276 from 48,276 in the previous trading session. This was all for today. Thank you for staying with us. I'm your host, Elliot Bullman. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Log on to mexiconewsnetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.